Today we're going to talk about how to write a reverse harem romance novel. First we're going to talk about the five characteristics that all reverse harem novels have in common. Then we're going to talk about the six steps that need to go into your plot. I'm Lisa, best-selling author of the Reverse Harem romance series, Cinderella and Her Seven Guards, and on this channel we talk all about romance writing, specifically for newbie and aspiring romance authors. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Monday. Now today I've broken this list down into two parts. The first is the five characteristics that all reverse harem romances have in common, and the next is the six steps that you should go through to plot your reverse harem romance. So the first one of the characteristics that all reverse harem romances have in common is there is one central heroine, it is a woman, and she has three to seven men who are all in love with her. There's no jealousy between the men, and the, there is also no cheating, so it's not polyamorous where they are out having love affairs and sex with other women. They only want to have sex with this one particular woman. Now, the reason it's three is because if it was two, it would be a menage, and if it was one, it would be a straight romance. And the max is usually seven because keeping track of any more men than that is really hard for the reader as well as for the author. Now, all of the men are usually brothers or they're in a team together or they they are co-workers or their friends or buddies. Either way, there is no relationship building among the men in your story because they kind of all came together as a unit. And within that unit, they're usually all heterosexual. You could have some male-male gay romance inside of there, but for the most part, that's a little more rare. Now, the next thing that they all have in common is the POV. These are usually told in first person POV with alternating POV. So you have your heroine and then each of the men in the story gets their own POV as well. You do, do see some third person POV, but I would say that also is a little bit more rare as well as seeing just the heroine as the first person POV. That is also very rare as well, but it could be done. Now, these could be in present tense or past tense. That doesn't really matter. Um, the third thing is the word count. So all of these ha are self-published. As far as I know, I don't think any publisher is creating prints out of these, except maybe Siren Publishing. So these tend to be 30,000 to 50,000 as the norm. However, some novels are 70,000. So for example, Snow was 50,000 and then Cinderella was 67,000. So it's really up to the author and kind of how the story flows um, on the different word counts. And the fourth one is they are pretty much all series. So you're either a trilogy or a quadrilogy, but for the most part, standalone reverse harem novels do not sell as well and authors know this and that's why they sell them as a series. Now the fifth one, is the world that they're in. I actually am a not the norm. Contemporary is very rare. The normal reverse harem romance world is a paranormal world where there is maybe a pack of wolves that are shifters and they all have one woman because they're already in a pack or it is a woman who had to reach her full power or potential because she's the chosen one, has to be with all of these four or five or whatever different men in order to do that. Now, the other type that is very normal is aliens. So aliens come down to Earth because there is a shortage of women on their planet and they would like to procreate. So they usually abduct a human or maybe you have a dystopian future where it's a little sci-fi and there are not enough women in the future. And so you have arranged marriages where they set up four or five guys that are going to marry and share one woman. So those are more the norm versus a contemporary, which is what I write. Now, those are the five different parts of a reverse harem romance. So let's talk about how to plot it. The first part is you have a meet cute, just like you would in any romance. But what makes it special for a reverse harem romance is that in this meet cute, she meets all of the men at once 
And she's really torn because she's attracted to all three, four, or five, or whatever. And in her normal everyday world, she doesn't do reverse harems, right? So she thinks she needs to pick at least one. And so maybe her sidekick friend asks her, hey, which one do you like? Because I'll take the other one. And she feels really torn and kind of jealous because she doesn't want to give up even just one to her friend because she wants to have all of them. So that's part of the meet cute. The second thing is that each of these men has to have their own GMC and you'll notice in reverse harem romances that aren't maybe as meaningful or resonate with you is that the author skipped this step and each guy inside the story has to have his own unique personality and really stand out from all of the other men. So you truly are dating someone different within the harem versus kind of just dating a mini me of five clones of the same guy. Now, the next step is in order to show that GMC, the, hero the heroine meets and hooks up with each of them individually. I shouldn't say meet, she does meet all of them at once, but she sort of forms a relationship one-on-one -on -one with each of them. So you get to learn how she responds differently to each guy. Maybe one is very rough and alpha, the other one's very Mr. Darcy Beta, um, the third one's very shy and she has to coax him out of his shell, right? So she should act differently in response to their different GMCs. The fourth one is that after they all hook up one at a time, then they all end up coming together. Now, sometimes this could be, depending on how many are in there, maybe two of them come together at once, sort of introducing the concept of the reverse harem, or they do they all come together at once for a big scene. Um, and then of course, after that, just like in any other novel, everything falls apart after their perfect reunion. And maybe society is judging them because it's a contemporary, or maybe they're going to be taken away or something perilous happens where one or maybe all the men will be pulled away from this new harem unit. And then of course, the resolution is that they all live happily ever after or happily for now because they all end up coming back together. So let's just recap both of those lists really quick. So the first one was the five characteristics that all reverse harem romance novels have in common. And the first one is that there's one heroine with three to seven guys. The second is the POV can be first or third. It doesn't really matter. The next one is the word count. It's anywhere from 30 to 50,000 is the norm, but it could go all the way up to 70. The fourth one is that they are always written in series. Those just sell better. And the fifth one is the world. They are not contemporary like I write. Paranormal is actually more popular and more of the norm as well as aliens and shifters. Now when it comes to plotting, the six steps for plotting is the first is your meet cute where she, the, what's unique about reverse harem is she's attracted to all of them. The second is each man has to have his own GMC. The third one is that she has to sort of form a relationship at individually with each of the men one at a time first and then she finally comes together with all of them and then the fifth one is their black moment where someone is torn away from the harem or all of them are and then the sixth and last step is where they all come back together and live their happily ever after. All right, I hope that helped you in thinking about how to plot your reverse harem romance as well as figure out if you even want to write one. Now, the reason I wrote a reverse harem romance is because K-Lytics came out with a report, I think it was over a year ago, and it said reverse harem is this new hot thing. And I had been reading the siren publishing novels forever and I thought this is amazing. I love these kind of stories. I'm totally going to write this. And Alana and I were sitting together and we're like, let's just write it together. So that's kind of how it came about. Now, reverse harem as a trend, I don't know how long it will stay around. It's kind of like the billionaire trend. I feel like it's kind of shifting on its way out. Um, so something to be aware of if you don't write very fast and it takes you a year, a year from now it might not be as popular. I know that I am planning to finish my Cinderella and her Seven Guards series this year. And that's kind of it. I think I'm going to move on from reverse harem romances and just go back to straight romance. I'm thinking I'm going to move in romantic comedy, but we'll see. So that is the everything I know about reverse harem romances. If you have any questions about writing them or the industry or how to market them, leave that comment below. And remember, if you want, I have a free course called How to Plot Your First romance novel that is free and I will leave a link for that in the description below. All right, I will see you guys next week. Bye.